All right. Um, this is an easy way to demonstrate what a plasma is using a household microwave. And basically what we are going to do is take a little bit of carbon provided by a smoking cigarette and put it inside a Pyrex glass while the microwave is on. Now the microwave is producing a very intense electromagnetic field with a lot of energy. And what you'll see is that it's going to take the carbon from the cigarette and turn it into a plasma that hovers inside the Pyrex beaker. So we have some corks here that we're going to use just to hold up the Pyrex beaker. And I'll position these things so that we have the front area open for me to stick the cigarette underneath. This is dangerous, and you should not do this at home. All right, so here we have... <laughs> you do it at a buddy's home. <laughs> yeah. So here we have a, sure. a Pyrex beaker mounted on just, you know, cork bottle stoppers. And we're going to set this clock for one minute. You have to. I guess we'll have to close it first. Yeah. So the first thing I'll do is light up the cigarette. Don't do this at home, kids. I think your house is haunted. Dude, after the past couple months, I know it's haunted. Make sure it's producing smoke. it underneath, close it, and now watch, get up close and shoot in there and you'll see in a minute the reaction should start. There you have it. A free-floating plasma is now hovering inside the Pyrex glass. It's extremely hot. And what's happened is the carbon has been taken from the cigarette and electrified and condensed so much that you see this independent glob of light just hovering there at the top of the Pyrex glass. That is similar to a brown mouth of light. As soon as the energy dies, the reaction stops.